This is Greg and this is Bob. They are able to know if something collides with them because they have colliders and a script that handles the collisions. I can show you how to do it, but you'll have to give me a minute to prepare all we need. Bob and Greg, believe it or not, are just Unity's default spheres. You can add them by right-clicking in the hierarchy, 3D object, sphere. At least one of the objects involved in the collision has to have a rigid body component. Let's add it to both objects and disable gravity for this case. We need to create a new script to detect collisions. This script has to be assigned to a game object with a collider, otherwise we won't be able to detect collisions, no matter how hard we try. In this case, we have two Unity spheres, and both have a sphere collider, so we can assign the script to both objects. But for now, let's assign it only to Bob. Bob Dylan también lo sabe, pero Bob es muy discreto, no dice nada. And that is all we need. Consider subscribing before we start. Inside the script, we can define special functions that Unity will call automatically if certain conditions are met. In our case, we are interested in on collision enter, on collision stay, and on collision exit. They are pretty straightforward, I must say. On collision enter will be called the first time that another collider touches our collider. And by our collider, I mean the collider that is assigned to the same game object as this script, because in this context, we are the script. At least that is the way I think of it. On collision stay will be continuously called as long as the other collider is touching us. And on collision exit will be called when the other collider stops touching us. And this parameter here is the collider of the object that has collided with us. Unity gives this to us automatically. And if we know the collider, that means we can access to the game object of that collider to get its name, for example. Or we could also try to get a component or a script that could be assigned to that object. Let's print some messages in the console to check if this works and how it works. We are going to print this message inside on trigger enter, this one inside on trigger stay, and this other message in on trigger exit. Notice that I'm using the name of the game object that has the collider that comes as parameter. I suggest for this test that you activate the collapse function in the console. Let's run this and see what happens. When Greg touches Bob, we get these messages in the console. And when they separate, we get the exit message. So this is working so far. The thing is that Greg can also detect the collision at the same time. We just only need to assign a script with the onCollision functions to the game object that has the collider. In fact, we can add exactly the same script to Greg and hit play right now to see what happens. As you can see now, Bob and Greg are printing messages in the console. They know that they are colliding with each other. The last thing I'm going to do is what you saw at the beginning of the video. Make the dialogues appear. For that, I will define a game object type variable and in Unity assign these game objects that I had previously prepared, each object to its corresponding script. Inside the start function, I will deactivate this game object, executing the setActive function with false. Inside onCollision enter, I will activate the game object and deactivate it in the onCollision exit function. This way, we get the result from the intro of this video. Notice that it's not the 3D model that triggers the collision, but the colliders, which are invisible. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next video.